what's up? It's me, Jack, and welcome to another video. So for this week's video, I've got something very different and exciting planned for you guys. I've never done a video like this ever on my channel before. So let's just dip our toes into something new. So for this week's video, I'm gonna be doing a little cook with me. I am a very amateur cook when it comes to everything. I typically always have to look up online for recipes and how to do them. And if I don't execute it well, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Even though most like chefs eyeball everything, but I like to be exact and to the point. So basically what we're cooking for today's meal, I'm gonna be making, what am I making? Oh, I'm making some garlic noodles. I'm looking up online for the recipe. This is the recipe we're following for today. I'll link it down below for you guys to go check out if you wanna follow it. I'll credit to this person who made up the recipe. Hopefully it's good and <laughs> we'll test that out. But honestly, that could honestly also be measured on how well I execute it. So as you can see behind me, I have all the ingredients laid out and also the pans we'll be using. But I'm going off of what the website tells me. So what we're gonna be needing is, this is 20 ounces of spaghetti, but I only have, I think it's like one pound of it and need like 1.25 pounds for the actual recipe, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. So this is what I'm using. Also you're gonna need a tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese. I just have the one from Kraft, ooh. As well as water, obviously, but I'm just gonna be grabbing that from my fridge. <laughs> then you're also gonna need a stick of unsalted butter. I don't know if mine's salted or not, but I don't really mind. <laughs> because that's all I have. And then you're gonna need around two tablespoons of minced garlic. And I just have some garlic here, so I'm just gonna crush it up and then put it into little tablespoons and see how much I really need from it. And then this is where we're getting a little bit creative. You have to use a tablespoon of Maggie seasoning sauce, but I looked it up and like a good substitute would be equal parts of soy sauce, which I have here. And then also have Worcestershire sauce, I'm really sure but we're just gonna mix this. And then you also need a tablespoon of fish sauce and another tablespoon of the oyster sauce. So my mom just got these from Food Max yesterday. As well as the last thing you're gonna need is some sugar. It says around a tablespoon, so that's probably how much we're gonna be using. And for pans, I just have this bigger one here for boiling the noodles in. And also, I don't really know if this is exactly what it is, but like a saute pan. I'm just gonna be using this one for the noodles. That's basically all I have and what we're gonna be working with. Let's just get into making it. I'm kind of scared, but I'm kind of like excited because I love garlic noodles so, so much. So let me just wash my hands real quick and I'll get right back to you guys. All right, y'all, we already changed ankles, but we're starting to get a little bit my mom's calling, hold on. I am back. So, also, update on the Maggie sauce. Um, apparently we have some, so I don't need to do the combination, so we're gonna need some of this. <laughs> but if you guys don't have anything, you can just do equal parts of what I said before. But anyways, now we're gonna go on to the spaghetti. Like I said, we're gonna start going a little bit adventurous now because it calls for about like six quarts of water, and that's a lot, that's like 24 cups of water. And I'm not gonna use that much water to heat this up. So I looked it up online, apparently you only really truly need six cups of water. So that's what we're gonna do for that. So we're gonna get a little adventurous. Hopefully it turns out okay. I don't know, we'll see. So now I'm gonna start off by bringing my water to a boil. I feel like that's honestly gonna be the most time consuming when it comes to the noodles. So we're just gonna head in. Do that, I can't find my big measuring cup, so we're just gonna use my standard regular one and just do six cups of this. All right, on this last cup of water. All right, so that's the water I'm gonna be using and it says to bring it to a boil, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna leave it on that, let it all heat up, and now go back to our noodles. So while that boils, I'm gonna go ahead and take my noodles and here it says to rinse them under running water and then you have to drain them and set them aside and that's probably gonna be while the water boils. I'm gonna take my noodles. So much, it's so thin, which is like kind of freaks me out, but like it's fine. So I don't really know how we're supposed to like wash this. I guess we can put it in here. Oh my God, they're falling out, okay. <laughs> Obviously because it has holes. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I have a container here. I have my draining thing. I'm Draining thing into the container so they don't fly out onto the ground. Is that gonna work? God knows. I don't freaking know. Now we're gonna move on here to our sink and I'm gonna rinse them just so they're not dirty, I guess. I don't really know. Sorry to feel bad lighting, but yeah. Am I doing anything? I don't really know. Is this helping? I don't really know. Now I'm gonna just drain them. Okay, now we're gonna sit them here. Did I do it correctly? Hopefully. Hopefully, we're not eating bacterialized noodles. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna just let these drain out of all the water in them, and we're just gonna let our water finish boiling, and when the water is done boiling, I'll get right back to y'all and update you guys on the next step. 
Honestly, sometimes I can't tell if water is boiling. Like, that pretty much looks like it is. But I think I'm gonna let it sit for a little longer, probably like two minutes or so, and then check back on it and see if it's truly like rising, boiling. <laughs> All right, y'all, so the water is basically boiling a lot. So now the recipe says to boil it to an al dente type of like texture is what it wants. And that's what the box says it's going to give. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this in. I'm not really sure how it's supposed to work. I feel like you have to use a bigger pan for this normally, but it's pretty, oh, it's pretty drained out. So let's add this and I'm kind of scared. Okay. Okay, so now it says to leave it for like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna just leave it hang in there for 10 minutes and then hopefully it gradually goes down because I don't want to overcook it or anything to like make it bad. So hopefully that's okay. And while that's doing that, I'm probably gonna start on the sauce. I feel like I should have prepared everything beforehand, just like all the measurements and stuff, but it's fine. It's all right. So back to the recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and follow the instructions for making the sauce. We're gonna use a spatula. I'm not really sure if that's the kind you're supposed to really use, but we're just gonna do that anyways. <laughs> it says four tablespoons of butter, and that's what we're gonna do. So each one of these is like a little tablespoon. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. So this is how much we're using for this. And then I have to do the garlic. The pasta is kind of scaring me, like it's fine. But we're just gonna go ahead and crush this up until we can reach the two tablespoons that it needs. All right, I don't really know how we're supposed to crush this up. I'm just gonna take like this thing that I use for beans usually and crush it up. So I'm just gonna do this on a little cutting board and see if that works. All right, y'all, our noodles are all done. So I'm gonna just turn this off because I don't want them to overcook. Oh my God, it's like so hot now. <laughs> Put this over here and I'm gonna get a glove so I can transfer it over and drain it. Oh, these are cute, see them my last name. And I'm also gonna use this to drain it once again and just drain it into the sink in here. All right, y'all, I'm gonna move it over now. So, kind of scared about this. Oh my God. This is so scary. There we go, yay, it's all out. Okay, cool. Hopefully I did it okay. Okay, so we're just gonna leave the pasta here to drain. I think we cooked it all right. And now we're gonna come back to the, our little stove top and make the sauce. So basically for the minced garlic, I just cut up little pieces of garlic here. Hopefully that's gonna suffice. Hopefully that's okay, because that's literally what makes the sauce garlic and what makes the noodles garlic noodles. <laughs> Prepare the garlic sauce using a saucepan on medium to low heat. I'm gonna put it on medium low heat and then we have to add the butter into the pan Well, and when that melts, we're gonna add the garlic. So I'm gonna add the butter here the four tablespoons So we're just gonna let that melt down here. All right, so we're just gonna let that heat up the other things for the things that we need It's only really like tablespoons. So it's just measurements. I can use with my little measurement spoons all right, so that's what it's looking like right now. Pretty, pretty cute. Cause that's the base to our entire meal. <laughs> okay, cool, that's done. Now we have to add the garlic and saute until aromic, but not brown. I don't really know what that means, but we're just gonna go for it, so. So we're gonna mix that around now. And then we have to add all the seasoning. Everything's a tablespoon. It smells like garlic, this is so good. I love garlic so much. Now we're gonna add our stuff. This is our fish sauce. Smells kind of interesting. I guess this is how it comes out. It comes out like little droplets. Like I need a whole lot of it though. Okay, there's a tablespoon of fish sauce. Okay, now I'm gonna add this into the mix. Oh my god, that's so scary. Kind of smells like it already. <laughs> and now we're gonna add the oyster flavored sauce. All right, here's this. We're gonna add some of this. Smells kind of weird. I don't really like oysters, but whatever. This is like really like not how I was expecting. It's like not like the fish sauce consistency at all. We're gonna add this in. I'm gonna add this in. I don't know if I'm supposed to do like the little garlic thingies, but whatever. And now it's the Maggie sauce. We're gonna add that. It's another one of these little things. It smells interesting. Kinda like soy sauce. Like I see where they're coming from. Okay, there's our little tablespoon. Okay. We're gonna add that in as well. All right, y'all, now I'm gonna add the sugar. So that's that. Pretty sure it's gonna, what's gonna make it pretty sweet. I think it smells pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. 
Hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. This is what it's looking like. I hope that looks okay. I honestly don't know. Obviously, like I said, I did have never made this before. So that's what it's looking like. It doesn't say though. It's like leave it to simmer or anything. So I'm gonna go on to the next step of what it's telling me to do. Cause the next thing it says here to transfer the garlic sauce into a small bowl. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. And then we're supposed to combine it all. I think I'm gonna add it to like this little bowl. Once again, I don't know if you're supposed to leave the garlic thingies in it. Who knows? We're just gonna add this in. I feel like it's not supposed to look like, like this. Like, is it supposed to look like that, everyone? I don't know. It smells good though. Like it's like I'm not gonna eat it <laughs> right now like this, but it smells good. I don't know. Okay. Now we're just going to toss the noodles with the sauce. I think I'm gonna toss everything together in here. That's a whole lot of noodle. Now we're gonna add the sauce to it. My very weird looking sauce. Okay, we're just gonna add it. Um, am I doing something wrong? Maybe. Did I F this up? Hopefully not. It's like a lot of noodle too. Like, with the amount of sauce that's in here, I don't know if this is all the noodle I'm supposed to use. Hey y'all, so. My noodles aren't looking completely fantastic because they need more sauce, so. And that is okay. We're gonna work on that, so I'm just gonna time lapse of that for you guys. And then I'll get right back to you guys probably when we're done with the other sauce. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. Okay y'all, I added double the sauce what it asked for in the recipe, so now it tastes, I feel like, better and not as plain. I feel like I'm not supposed to mix it in here, but whatever. So now I'm just gonna cover it with a lid, and then we're just gonna let it like absorb everything, like that sauce and stuff, into the actual noodles, so yeah. And then we're also gonna make some broccoli, so we're just gonna boil up some broccoli, and my sister's gonna make some... Mussels. Mussels, so it can all go together. So, let's just see what we're doing right now. <laughs> Okay guys, so we finished up everything. This is what it looks like. We put some veggies too on it just to like add on because we're gonna eat that as well. So we're gonna do a taste test of the noodles. Hopefully they're okay. <laughs> okay, ready? I think it's really good. Like if I was at a restaurant and they gave this to me, I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd eat it all. I think it's pretty good. I just think I could do better next time. But I've never done like noodles or like garlic noodles like this. So it's a start. And I think the vegetables were really good because we, what sauce did you add on to it? Maggie sauce. It was Maggie sauce. So she added some Maggie sauce after she boiled the vegetables in that. And a little bit of soy sauce, uh, pepper, Parmesan cheese, salt, and butter. So I think that really like brought it together. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish our meal. Yeah, but that's gonna be it for this week's video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. It's something different. Never done something like this on the channel before. So if you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every single week. I'll catch you guys next week. Bye cuties.